subs. What's up, subscribers? Shit. Oh, I got a phone call. Hang on. Alright, so it was like Xfinity or not Xfinity, DirecTV calling me. But we're going to a call, the main complaint uh, that is their tank is leaking. Um, so we should be there next 10 minutes or so. So I'll bring you back up when I uh, when I get out there. So. Customer says that it's leaking from here. Uh, they got a couple sponges down. Um, I, I don't know exactly where the leak's coming from yet. Might be under. Oh yeah, it's coming from under the tank. You can see there's a little puddle back there. Yeah, right there. You can see the puddle. So I'm just gonna probably be looking at a new tank. I'm just gonna check a couple other things around um, as I uh, as I go, and then I'll fill you in as I go. Got the power turned off and drain the tank. I'm using this uh, garden hose I took to the boiler drain there. I got the upstairs upstairs sink going as well. And then this down, I'll break the connection with that uh, union there and that poly uh, union there. Oh, I just dropped it. Let me see if I can get the light turned on here. Right, still draining the system down. I found the light it's much better. We have an old Pro Flow date code says 2010. So almost 10 years out of it. Almost. It's probably waterlogged too, but. like anything else is too bad. Connections are all clean. I'll check the connections, but I mean, yeah, it's a little older, but I don't see any issues with any of the system. It really makes you think about going pee, doesn't it? <laughs> At least it's in a nice clean basement here. And the hose was already here. I didn't have to go grab my own. I didn't have to grab my own bucket. Wonderful. Because it's like 4.30 right now. <laughs> anymore. Don't have enough pressure to make the, the rise here. But enough straight from the boiler drain. Anybody interested in uh, what my tool bag loadout is? Let me know. Shoot me a comment or a message. I think you can put a message into YouTube. I don't know. I, I haven't done it yet. I guess I'm uh, not as uh, technically advanced as I used to be in my older age. Right. Now let's break these connections.
the tank does sound waterlogged. I'm going to take this. I always hijack those just because they're always good to have in case you lose one, especially on a new tank. Uh, I seem to be having issues with my phone. I need some different storage options, apparently. So... Be careful with this so I don't break it. I'm trying to make this quick because I think I'm running out of the video. There's storage on my phone. Steady here. There you go. All right. That's all back feed from the from the well. Fortunately, I don't have any way to. Plug that, that would be efficient. But that's alright. Get it all sopped up here. Oh. Easy later, Sam. Well, I guess I need help with uh, my storage on my phone. I guess I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It says only, I can only record for a minute. Well, I guess I'll just do little snippets here and there. All right, well, we're just going to dope and tape some of this and get it back together and then head to another new waterfall. So I guess what I'll be able to do. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm just trying to work fast. We're gonna do a new tank T, new tank. Okay, well, fixed my issue, I think, but now I just need to get this in my tank T. It looks like it was going in crooked. She's definitely going in crooked. So I need to figure that out. Because, yeah, that's crooked. It's definitely crooked. Um, hmm. God damn it. Yeah. 
know how to get this on here, so. Okay. Well, I got this figured out. I am going to get all this plugged back in. Electric, so that I'm gonna set this to a forty sixty. Usually what I'll do, I'll just pop that open that way, if there is a leak I can turn it right off. Shut off preset 3050, so I'll turn it up. Okay. I'm going to do that by turning this big knob here. There's 60 right there. Hold steady on that gauge. I'm going to open it up to the house. That way I can check this union over here. I don't see any leaks here. So there's that to the house. We're all set. Alright, so now I'm just going to relate 38 PSI, 40, 60 cycle, and put my seal on it, my installer seal. Put a fan on to 
out of that. There she is. Perfect. <laughs>